Hello and welcome to the 32nd tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at nav tabs. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have looked at the grid system that Bootstrap provides, plus the rows and columns. But Bootstrap doesn't finish there. No, it doesn't indeed. It provides several UI components to help create that awesome website. We will now take a look at the nav tab that Bootstrap provides, which is great for navigation at the top of the website. You can put it anywhere where you you want really. Just bear in mind you do need to include the tab.js file but only if you're including the individual plugins. As we have included the bootstrap.js, actually we included the bootstrap.min.js which is a minified version aka if you include the bootstrap.js or the bootstrap.min.js it doesn't matter because that contains all the plugins but that's just something to bear in mind. Bootstrap like everything else makes it super easy to implement so let's open up our index.html and just show you how easy it is. So sublime text and what we're going to do in the spirit of it being some sort of navigational menu at the top we're going to put it at the top of the container instead of putting it at the bottom. You can put it within columns and a row. We actually recommend doing it just to see how it reacts but we're just going to put it aside for now. So we're going to do an unordered list and the unordered list is going to have a class of nav and nav tabs. Then inside here, we're going to have a list item. It's going to have a row which is presentation. It's going to have a class. And it's, ah, what am I doing? This class is going to be active. So what we're going to do now is ahref equals, I'm going to put a hash there, it doesn't really matter, obviously you can make these link to another page on the website or do something on that particular page. I'm just going to put home, I'm just going to get rid of the class active as you only want one to be active, generally the active uh, button or the list item is the one that your uh, website is on. So if you've clicked I don't know, contact us, you would highlight the contact us button. About us. Okay, now let's save that. Open it up in our web browser. There you go, we have our navigation menu at the top and it automatically does a good job. We start resizing it, it still looks fine, it looks great. So it's that simple. As an extra task, put the nav inside the columns with different sizes to see how the nav resizes as we mentioned before. The next tutorial will cover nav pills. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk all the required links for source code will also be in the description. To see hundreds of more videos like this one completely free, feel free to message, I mean feel free to check out sonarlearning.co.uk and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.